Hello and welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to post Facebook page post to multiple Facebook groups. Now, let's say that you are extremely active on Facebook and for the promotion of your business, you keep on posting a lot of posts. Now, here your objective is that every time you have posted a new post on any of the pages that you have on your Facebook, then automatically the same post should be posted on different groups that you have on your Facebook. Now to do this, we are going to integrate Facebook pages with Facebook groups and Google Sheets and we are going to do this using Pabli Connect. So here your trigger will be Facebook pages, your action applications will be Google Sheets and Facebook groups. So to understand how you can integrate and automate this entire process, let's start. We are going to understand how every time a new post is posted on any of the Facebook pages, then how automatically the same post will be posted on different groups that you have. For this, we had created a Google Sheet where we had the details of our group, group name and group ID. And then the moment a post was posted in any of the pages, then automatically it was posted on all these groups. Now, how did we do this? For this, we had integrated Facebook pages and Facebook groups with this Google Sheets. And then we had automated the process with the help of Pabli Connect. Now to understand how, let's start. Now this here is the dashboard of Pabli Connect software and you can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. So if you are an existing user, you simply have to sign in and if you are a new user, you will have to sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So once you reach dashboard, now on the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow, click on this and this dialog box has appeared. Now here you have to name your workflow. Now what is my objective here? So here my objective is to post Facebook page post to multiple Facebook groups. Now I'm going to click on create. As I do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one here is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger here this, when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the automated response of our trigger application. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. So every time you swipe your card and the payment is made, then you automatically get a response on WhatsApp or SMS about the amount debited. Now this happens because of automation. In such a case, your trigger will be the payment gateway and your action application will be SMS or WhatsApp sending applications. Now let's come to our use case. So here our objective is to post Facebook page post to multiple Facebook groups. So here my trigger application will be Facebook page. Let's click on this. Then we have the trigger event. Now this trigger event is the event that is going to make this workflow run. And here it will be new post. So once this is done here, you can see on the right hand side, it is written that this trigger will check for new data in 10 minutes, which means that this trigger application has got a polling time of 10 minutes and this workflow is going to run in every 10 minutes to fetch for new data. Okay, now I'm going to click on connect. As we do that here, Pabli Connect wants to connect itself with the Facebook pages account. So here I'm going to select add new connection, connect with Facebook pages. And I've already logged into my Facebook account. So I'm going to continue here. And here you can see that the authorization has been successful. Okay, so this means that Facebook pages and Pabli Connect are now connected, which means that Pabli Connect can now access to the information, everything that is posted on my Facebook page. Okay, now I'm going to come down and here you can see I have to mention the page and the number of posts. So here I'm going to take you to my Facebook account and let's go to the various pages that I have created. So these are the various pages that I already have created. And let's say that I want to post something on Pabli page. So here I'm going to select Pabli. So here it is. This is the page. Now here we have to enter the number of posts to be retrieved in every request. Now let's say that you are very active on Facebook and you keep on posting a lot of information there. So after every 10 minutes, how many posts do you want to be retrieved? So here I'm just going to mention one. You can go up to 100. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as I do that, here we have received the information about the last post. 
so let me show you this post okay so I'm going to take you to Pabli page now and here you can see this was the last post and we have received the information about the last post now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a post here so first of all I'm going to switch to Pabli page okay so here we are and now I am going to create a post so here is the post this is to inform you that we have recently commenced integration with ABC application we are thrilled and would want to know your experience on this integration check out the link to know more about this integration and here is the link regards Pabli connect team now here I have only added a link I'm not going to add any pictures or videos and I'm simply going to click on post so do you want to add button not now now we can see that this post is getting posted here and now as I scroll down so here is the post posted now I'm going to take you back to Pabli connect and here I'm going to click on save and send test request once again now here you can see we have received the response so this is the updated time timeline visibility as I take you down the privacy description of my account is public then again this here is the message that has been posted and now as I take you down so here we have got the full picture and from name then here we have the ID number and again this here is the description then again as I take you down so here we have got different medias and target URLs with titles now once this is done I want this particular post to be posted on the different Facebook groups that I have so for that what I have done I have created this spreadsheet the name is Facebook group details and here I have got the name of all the groups that I have and I have got their group ID here from where can you get this group ID so let me show you the same here are the various groups that I have so you can see these are the various groups created now let's say that we are talking about Pabli tech so as I click on this so this here is the group ID and the same has been mentioned here once this is done I'm going to take you back to Pabli connect and this time I'm going to choose my action application as Google Sheets let's click on this next is the action event and here it will be get rows so I'm going to click on connect here Pabli connect wants to connect itself with Google Sheets account let's select add new connection sign in with Google here we have to choose the account so once chosen Pabli connect sheets wants to access my Google account this is absolutely secure so I have here clicked on allow okay so here we can see that the authorization has been successful which means that the connection is all set now once this is done I'm going to scroll down and here we have to select the spreadsheet so what I'm going to do I'm going to click on the drop down this here is the spreadsheet now since there was only one sheet so you can see that the system has automatically captured the sheet now here we have to enter the range so I'm going to take you to the, my spreadsheet now and here you can see that my information that I have fed in here starts from a2 this is the cell value a2 and here it is going on till so what is this cell value this is b5 but of course I can have more information here so what I'm going to do here I'm going to mention a2 then I'm going to put a colon and just write B because the information can go on so here I have mentioned the range and now I'm going to click on save and send test request so as I do that here I'm going to take you down so you can see I have received the information of all the rows that were there in my Google sheet so this here is the first Facebook group then we have the group ID row index then second group group ID and row index third group group ID row index and fourth group group ID and row index once we have received this what I'm going to do I'm going to toggle this towards the left so that I can have this information in advanced format which means that now I'm going to get my entire data in array format let me show you the same so here we have received the response and you can see I have received the collective data now this collective data that I have received it's like in one row we have received the information of all the Facebook groups and the IDs along with the row indexes now I want to receive the information about each row right I want to singularly receive the response of every row so that I can map the information now to do that what I'm going to use a feature by Pabli which is known as iterator so an iterator step divides a collection of data into numerous values which are processed one by one until the last value is reached 
So here you can see the array has already been taken by the system. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as I do that, here we have received the response of the first row. So we have segregated the response that we had received earlier. And here we have received the response of only the second row. This is row 2. Once we have received this, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose my final action step. And this time I'm going to choose my application as Facebook Groups. So here it is. The action event here will be to post message. Now here you can see we have got different options. So if you want to post a picture, so here is the post photo option. If you want to post a video, so you will have to use post video option. And this here, this list group comments. So it retrieves the list of all the comments that you have received on all your posts. Okay. Now here I have selected the action event post message because my message doesn't contain any image or video. I'm going to click on connect and here I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection. And once this is done, here we have to select the group. So you can see these are the groups where I want to post this information. So I am going to take you back to public connect. Now here we have to mention the name of the group. For this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to toggle this towards the right so that I can map the information and here I have to map the group ID. For this, I'm going to go to step 3 and this here is the group ID. So here we have received the information. Now this method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping. And this is important so that every time the workflow runs in real time, it can take the new received data into consideration. If I had written the same information manually, then even when my workflow was running for the nth time and it had some different group ID, it wouldn't have taken that. Instead, it would have taken the same manually written data. So to avoid that, we map the information. Okay. Now, once that is done, here we have to enter the message. For this, I'm going to click on this. Now, I'm going to go to step one. And as I scroll down, this is the message that I want to post. Now, here we have the link. So if you have any specific link to be posted individually, you can always paste it here. For that, what you could have done here in your Google Sheet, you could have added another column with the link to be associated. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and click on Save and Send Test Request. And here you can see we have received the response. Now according to this, our post must be posted on all the Facebook groups. So here I'm going to take you to my Facebook groups and let's see if the post has been created there. So this here is the public tech group. I'm going to quickly refresh this. And here you can see that our message has been posted here, which means that our integration is a success. Now, as of now, it has been posted only to public tech group. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check this in real time. So I'm going to take you back here to Facebook pages. And here I'm going to quickly switch to Pabli page. So once that is done, now here I'm going to create another post. Now we have written a message. Thank you everyone for the positive response. We'll keep sharing such interesting integrations with you. Regards Pabli Connect. I'm going to click on post. And here I'm going to select not now. And we can see that our post is getting posted. And here we can see that our post has been posted. Now, what should happen? Within 10 minutes, this post should be posted on all the Facebook groups that we have selected. Now, we are talking about 10 minutes here. Why? Because this particular application has got a polling time of 10 minutes. So let's wait for 10 minutes and then we are going to check the information. So it's been some time and now I'm going to take you back to the pages. So first of all, I'm going to switch to the previous account. And now here, let's go to home. Let's go to groups. So here, first of all, I'm going to take you to Pabli tech group. And here you can see our message has been posted. Now I'm going to go back and go to Pabli members group. And here also you can see that this message has been posted. Now let me take you to Pabli team group. And yes, here we can see that our message has been posted. Similarly, let's check the last one, which was here it is technology updates and yes our message has been posted so this basically means our integration is a complete success now i'm going to take you back to public connect to understand what we have done so here our trigger application was facebook pages where the event was new post then our action application was google sheets where the event was get rows 
then we had received the response in advanced format and then we had chosen iterator by pably which is a feature that has helped us to get the collective data and then segregate it row wise and finally our action application was facebook group where the event was to post message i hope this is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately Apart from this, if you have any specific integration that you wish to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.